Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Solid Jays Workshop. Today's video will be about the Gundam Barbataurus in a scale from 1 slash 114 high grade from the series Gundam Breaker Badlock. Let's get started with this Gunpla. As we can see once opening the box, this mech has more pieces than what we may be used to for a high grade. The reason being that this is kind of like assembling two mechs in one, as this is conceptually a hybrid inspired by the original Barbatos and the Kimaris Trooper. This combination is quite clear all around. For starters, here on each chest piece being lifted straight from the Barbatos, but tuned to come across more aggressively. While the number of pieces it contains is more plentiful than most high grades, the assembler itself is as simple and straightforward to what someone experienced in the Gunpla world will come to expect. I really appreciate the color scheme this one is working with, a darker hue, compared to most of the larger ones you see around. Working on this project, I kept remembering my recent time assembling the Barbatos Lupus Rex, and how cool it could look painted just like this. Maybe that could be a fun upcoming project for the channel. That's something that I like about this hobby. How your previous experiences influence your current work and even give you inclinations of what the next project may be, the past, the present and future of it all. The point being that the number of projects to tackle in the franchise and your reasoning for them can be as broad or as specific as you like. Talking a bit more of the approach one can have for this hobby, I will admit that some, if not most, of the gunplay I have acquired are from anime series I haven't watched yet. Such as this one, that's something interesting to me. It's not about it being a derivative piece of merch from something I already liked, but instead I'm finding aesthetic value in the piece itself as well as the satisfaction of starting and finishing a project. Not to put down any other approach, since I do have my own nostalgic favorites, just something I realized putting this one together. Taking into account how many Gundam games, anime series and movies there have been, the fact that the hobby's Gunpla side can stand on its own is remarkable. In the series, the Barbataurus is piloted by the character known as the Masked Man. This kind of antagonist is a staple for the franchise, echoing other similar adversaries like Charles as Nabo, the originating standard for figures such as him and other subsequent villains. Now, talking a bit about the process itself, I want to make emphasis on the importance of working with the appropriate tools for the task. With it being a scale model, precision is a must. Not just when cutting as exactly as possible so there are no issues during the fitting of the pieces, as well as sanding carefully when and where needed. For that, I recommend some nice nippers and also sandpaper in a varying range of breed sizes, respectively, for each of those tasks. Despite it being only a high grade, do keep in mind the elevated number of pieces it includes, because of the irregular form of the mech as it resembles a centaur more than the usual plain humanoid Gundams one would expect.
as often alluded to during this overview, this is quite an oddly shaped mech with it being a quadruped, taking this feature from the Chimaris Trooper and its stylization from the Barbato series. This combination reminds of a similar one that took place in the Iron-Blooded Orphans anime series when the Vidar and Chimaris Trooper formed the Chimaris Vidar. I do appreciate this relatively recent trend of combining mechs to create new ones. Its included accessories are the twin blades, which can be arranged into a bow, long sword, great mace, and of course, the elusive tail blade like the one present in the Barbatos Lupus Rex. This set of weapon is quite easy to assemble with its big and simple pieces. This is often the case compared to how detailed and modular the mechs themselves tend to be. As closing statement for the Gundam Barbataurus, it's quite clear to me and anyone that will look into this piece that this is a great Kumpla, bringing together two of the best ones introduced in the Iron Blood Orphans anime series and elevating the combined features to create an original that stands out. Includes plenty of holding points for its weapon arsenal, making it so it can be wearing them all at the same time. I recommend this project for people already experienced in the Gunpla world as it does present some difficulty by the precision required, not really something for beginners in my estimation. Some slight setbacks for it would be that by it being so big and heavy, the joints can feel quite loose, which will ask for extra care when handling the hind legs as it's a bit complicated not placing it in an awkward looking pose. Small issues to have to barely bear with when we take into account how great of an addition it would be for any collection for both fans of anime series and also for general scale model hobbyists. I recommend it strongly. That will be all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did assembling it. Thanks for watching, considering, subscribing, commenting and giving us a like, as well as checking our other social medias. See you next time.